In this tutorial, I show you how Elementor 2.1 and WordPress Gutenberg, which is also still in beta, interact and how they integrate and how they work together. Because a lot of people have Elementor. Elementor is a great plugin and any page builder, really. And Gutenberg kind of replaces a lot of the functionality the page builders bring to the table. So how do they actually work together and how is that, what's that going to look like? In this tutorial, I show you how Elementor and Gutenberg play together and I'm going to show you what this looks like right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet and you like WordPress and you like tips and tricks and hacks and getting better at it, make sure you click subscribe, then the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything, and then check out our Elementor waiting list. There's a link in the description down below. And I'm thinking of creating just the ultimate Elementor course that shows you how to do everything with Elementor and it's constantly updated because Elementor is constantly updated. And if you're interested in that kind of thing, get on the waiting list, you get more information there and there's no obligation. So if you're on there, it doesn't mean you have to purchase or anything, you're just on the waiting list and you can decide later down the road if it's something for you. And with that out of the way, let's head on the screen capture. In a couple of recent tutorials, I've shown you how to get the WordPress Gutenberg running on a test site before it's even released to the public. And I've shown you how to get the new version of Elementor on your site. And it turns out that new version of Elementor that's not released to the public yet also has some Gutenberg features. So it allows you to use Elementor in WordPress Gutenberg. Now it's not used in the way you might expect and the way I thought it would be, which is an element for adding blocks to use inside of Gutenberg. If you don't know what that means, check out the tutorial linked up above that shows how Gutenberg works. What they've actually done is what they did always before. So they had a page editor where on the page editor, you click on edit with Elementor. Now inside Gutenberg, if we go to pages and then add new, we have our Gutenberg editor and the edit with Elementor button up here. So instead of adding blocks for Gutenberg, you can just click on edit with Elementor and edit with Elementor. But there currently still is a bug. So if you click on this button, click on leave to load an Elementor, we see right here, it says, sorry, the content error was not found in your page. You must call the content function in the current template in order for the Elementor, in order for Elementor to work on this page. So if you click on go back, the easy way to fix this bug and make it work is to simply type something in to this content block here. So let's just call this my story and then click on edit with, edit with Elementor. We now see we have our Elementor editor with the my story text that we just input earlier. And that is how we can get around that bug. Clearly this bug should be ironed out by the time that release happens. What you see here in the way it works right now might not actually be how it works when they are released, but as of right now, this is a prototype of how it'll work. And watching those previous two tutorials I mentioned, you can get this set up yourself on a test site. You can have the brand new version, unreleased version of WordPress and Elementor running and just play around with it and see how they interact and work together. But make sure you do that on a test site, not a production site. So that's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe, then the bell notification icon. Get on the Elementor waiting list in the description down below if that interests you. And next up is checking out one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.